What's going on guys? Welcome back once again to Keskia Global Village. I'm here in the Gambia, in the Senegambia area. And so I'm here with my guy, Alpha. Alpha, how you doing? Yeah, I'm good, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Blessings, yeah. blessings. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. <laughs> good to receive you, bro. It's yeah. good to see you once again, you know. Definitely, yeah. definitely, for sure. You're How's welcome. your day? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. Thanks. Normal, I mean. Uh, yeah. It's normal, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I've been in the Gambia for like three months now, so you know, I, I almost feel like a Gambian now, man. Yeah, I can see that, you know, I can see that. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. You know, the vibe in the Gambia is great. Yeah. You know, just the the welcoming spirit, and so I definitely appreciate the connection. You know, we've been able to develop, and even the conversations we've been able to have. I feel like since the time we met every time we have conversation it's always about production even though you know we haven't been able to put some things into into grounds if you would but every time we connect we always talk about producing which is good you know which is what i like you know if i'm gonna build connections with someone i want to be able to build connection with someone that at least we can have productive conversations eventually you know we're gonna spark something that can get us going you know so but I'm, I'm definitely appreciative of you being able to sit down we can have this you know productive conversation here today so so um so alpha like um growing up in the gambia how is life growing up here uh for you or even for young men growing up in the gambia all right thank you very much i am happy for the reception and um like you said, um, we are also happy to have you. Um, you are a brother. So, Definitely. Um, feel at home and, you know, he is home. You know? Definitely. I appreciate that. Yeah. And I'm very happy to, you know, be part of this and all of that. And um, I'm not wasting time introduction and I'll just go <laughs> straight and answer your question. All right. Growing in the Gambia, um, as a kid um, in the late 90s, early late 90s, mid mid late 90s, yeah, yeah um, our economy was just um, blossoms, and our country, the dollar, um, the currency was good, business was good, and you know, one of our major cash crops, which is the groundnut was um high in the stock market in the international market you know so yeah we were um yeah we were doing fine as a country you know and as an economy um yeah we were doing fine so things were not so um tough as it is right now when we were growing up yeah um most of the things that were challenging is that um it's not all all of my friends we had access to school you know yeah yeah so that was challenging because um some of us had access to schools some of us they didn't have access to schools and um growing up with a colleague who who didn't have the same opportunity as you have is sometimes you know depressing you know but um i guess um in that era gambia was um economically um, on the right path and um, we had a president who i'm not saying he's a good guy or that but he was playing his role and you know and um um also um talking about the morals in the country the, um, there was not um so much degradation in terms of the morals of the country okay you know gambia we have norms we have um traditional beliefs we have um you know morals how we treat elders you know and all of that was um you know all of that was maintained during that era um compared to this era it is very scarce nowadays you see people um losing you know morals and it's very disheartening but my time growing up yeah i can remember we really um kept to these um traditional practices um our morals um we made sure that um we adhere to them to the maximum and um an example i'll give is that um you know an, as an african norm when we are eating we eat together in a big bowl so um as a 
as a um, as a child you don't check the fish you don't just check touch anywhere in the bowl yeah 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 you wait you eat the rice and then wait to be served you know that teaches us patience you know growing up definitely yeah so most of these things they are very very important in um you know building up a person and to see that um to see that we are losing that recently is very disheartening um the kids nowadays you know they don't have that so you're gonna be surprised to see um you know um the future generation losing their way you know adopting lifestyles which are very inappropriate so yeah so i guess m- my time growing up was better than this um era in terms of morals in terms of the economy many aspects of life you know yeah definitely listen you you shared a lot here um and a lot for us to unpack number one you talk about economy you talk about morals and just uh opportunities as well with school yeah you know seeing your your your, your friends some of them not having the same opportunities and so um in terms of value systems because we're going to touch on the economy later Okay so 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 let's build up on this uh values because for someone like myself coming let's say from the US or from the west um coming into the Gambia we don't really know the 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 principal value systems and I'm sure they're quite different or maybe similar to what goes on in the Gambia so and so so what can you say that is causing the young people or the youth that they that they no longer have respect for the elders when did you begin to see the shift or what do you say is a uh, a factor that is causing them to have a lack of respect for 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 the elders and for the for the for the value systems now okay um there are many um um there are many reasons for that but i'm just going to um to the main ones Yeah one of the main ones is that I think um I suppose that or oh, I've seen that we are we are neglecting our traditions mm-hmm. and when I say our traditions as black people or as Gambians I mean our tradition as a whole I know in everything there is positive and there is negative yeah yeah I'm not saying that we should still live and cling to our negative traditions and cultures but hey not everything in our tradition is negative you know we have many positive things in our tradition yeah. so um we need to um cling on to the negative and get away with the sorry we need to cling on to the positive and get away with the negative definitely but um what this generation is doing is that they neglected everything yeah. and then they want to adopt the western life oh. and if you want to adopt the western life all right no problem it's your life mm. but just just be positive but you know um according to human rights um you your daughter or your son you are not allowed to beat them which is against our traditions mm. our traditions a child before you reach 18 yeah. your dad or your mom or your elders or your guardian whoever is taking care of you has full responsibility over you and he or she has the right and should punish you whenever you do wrong mm. you understand yeah that is what our tradition is and you cannot tell me that one is a negative tradition that's positive even god said it both in the bible and in the quran god said it spare the rod and spoil the child Yeah. that's the saying yeah? of that's course. the adage of course yeah, yeah so um so um i think the negligence of that aspect is a reason okay another reason is that um the way we used to live yeah the way we used to live technological developments you know now every youth has access to these mobile phones of course you can access the internet anything you check on the internet you can see mm-hmm. and there are all these nudities on the internet and all of that stuff yeah so you know it 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 um it exposes you to so much evil it exposes yeah. you to so much um 
negativity that you know when you are used to that you know your life just goes down the drain mm. so yeah um the technical the uh, technological development also has is another reason you know yeah so i think those two are one of the main reasons yeah yeah definitely you know i i agree with you on that um discipline you know raising children with the right disciplines gives them ground to to go through life with understanding and so spare the spare the rod spoil the child is is a divine principle and so when when you stray away from that then children no longer have um correction in their life or um many time you allow them to understand that um there are consequences for certain actions and that is the purpose of the rod is to show you that there are consequences in this life when you post certain actions and so you will suffer the the, the consequences of that and so when uh, when we can learn those principles from young it allows you to be able to 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 cultivate disciplines for 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 in in righteousness if you would like you said um yes we understand there are some people who abuse their children but that's that's a very low percentage compared to who uh to th- those parents who wants um their children to have a brighter future of course and when we no longer have that discipline the more principles you're talking about then guess what you no longer have strong leadership and when you no longer have strong leadership then that's when crime starts to happen because now these pe- young men are now committing crimes because no one is going to chastise them no one is going to give them punishment strong punishment for their actions and so now the environment becomes unsafe the country then becomes unsafe because you have you lack discipline so, and so you see how it can go from in, inside the house to the neighborhood to the town and then now even the whole country is 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 as it were um just permeated with 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 this um with this state because of a of, of children not having a strong foundation so any any thoughts on that yes definitely i mean um a practical example is the gambia look the first president we, who, who um our second president yaya jame he was a disciplinarian everybody knows that he is very strict with his rule you kill somebody you face a death penalty not a death sentence you know and many other rules strict ones which you need to abide by or you face the consequences he doesn't look um whether you are this or that you do something wrong you face the consequences straight out and you know during his era we lived in peace in peace so much so that you hardly hear um a death case in the gambia a murder case you hardly hear that you can live for 5 years in the gambia you not hear that over the news but oh since he's gone <laughs> i can't even count how many murder cases i mean it's as rampant as anything now in the gambia here you hear death cases every day you hear little children killing each other why because wow. they are abusing drugs here and there because there's no control no strict laws and you know many other things you know but the key is that we are lacking discipline now our president is not a disciplinarian and so you know like you said crime that's the result that's the consequence definitely man definitely so you know i just hope that you know um there 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 are there are definitely some progress you know when it comes to that but you know this is not just to highlight the gambia but this is just something that is regardless if you're living in the US if you're living in Europe this is a universal principle yeah, where there is a lack of discipline and a lack of consequences young men will take advantage of that i mean you see it growing up when i was with my mom when by the time when let's say i'm like 12 years old or 13 years old your mother's words versus your father's words start to mean something different your mom can say something to you you run she cannot outrun you 
but your father say something, you know, he bring you with some strong man power, mm -hmm. you're going you go to bow to that. Definitely. And so mm -hmm. it doesn't matter who you are, if you're a Gambian or, or Senegalese or whomever, discipline is what keeps young men in good ground and, 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 and adhere to moral principles. And that goes also to the respecting of your elders and so on and so forth. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Uh, I was just giving an example, but yeah. like you said, it's a universal principle. Yeah. Yeah, it is, definitely. Yeah, yeah definitely, because some people would be watching this, because I know a lot of people may have different perspectives. They may say, well, how come he's only saying the Gambia? We're not necessarily speaking in terms of the Gambia, highlighting the Gambia uh, problems, but we're looking at these principles as a universal principle, regardless, because both of us, we're from different countries, yet we can see that without having strong moral principles, the country is going to go down the drain. And so that's how we need to hold to those values, those traditions, those positive principles within the traditions, you know, to keep us, you know, to keep us level because it is important. And so like,